does winning ever get old? Sorry, what'd you say? Does winning ever get old? I mean, to me it's not really about winning, it's just about pushing myself, helping my teammates out. So I would say no. Did you get what you wanted out of today's race, both for yourself and for your team? Um, well, we had to see how the team finish out, finishes out, but I don't know. Today, I guess it was okay. Just because my training is kind of pushed back four weeks. So, you know, this time last year in sophomore year, I was kind of at my peak and by nationals, I kind of went a little downhill. So, um, I guess, you know, it's all right. Just my second race back, getting back into my rhythm. How? Having said that, how did this course treat you today as opposed to the other times you've run? Uh, I mean, this, this course is never easy. Um, we didn't race it here last year, so I um, kind of forgot I had to run the back loop just because, you know, I'm not used to those hills. But, um, yeah, I mean, I love the crushed limestone. love the atmosphere here. I love the woods. So I love this course. Were the hills, having not run here for them since you were a sophomore, the hill's a bit of a surprise or a bit of a challenge? Um, a little bit, just because we haven't done any hill training yet. We've just been you know, building up my base. So, um, yeah, I think the next few weeks will be a big training block, and I'm hoping to, you know, improve a lot over the next you know, two, three weeks. Where does a race like this rank for you in terms of what you expect for the rest of the season? Is this something that can propel you, or is this just another workout? Um, this is just another, you know, time on the paper. Um, use it to dictate how we need to alter training the next few weeks. Um, my coach already said, you know, this week that we got a lot of hills coming. Just we haven't done any hill training yet. So I'm excited for the rest of the season. Did you have a time goal in mind coming into this? I don't know. Today we weren't focusing on time. We were just focusing on effort. Um, you know, coming off my injury this summer, I've just been taking it one step at a time and trying to be patient and knowing that in the end it all work out. How frustrating has it been coming back from that? Um, it's been very frustrating just because I missed practically the whole summer. I was out for four and a half weeks. So, um, yeah, it was really hard, you know, coming back, seeing my teammates, seeing all my competitors, you know, online and everything, working really hard. And, you know, I kind of just had to sit on the couch and watch. So. It's been difficult. What did that do for you, having to go through that? Um, I don't know, I think it kind of helped me, you know, learn a valuable lesson. Um, the reason I got injured was because I tried to push through with my injury instead of, you know, letting it recover fully. So I think in the long run, this injury is probably best for me, just because, you know, it taught me, you know, a lesson, you know, that your health is more important than helping your team sometimes. So, um, yeah, I think I'll never push through an injury again. In a weird way, do you think the break helped you a little bit? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, would I take it back? Probably, just because I missed a lot. And, you know, my whole junior season was affected by my knee injury. But, you know, it did teach me you know, that valuable lesson. So I think for my long-term success, it was probably better off that way, but you know, just for my short term, you know, junior year, I guess not. Does that now, because you went through what you went through, is that ever in the back of your mind when you're running? Um, that you're not indestructible? Yeah, I think um, my injury kind of affected me mentally just because, you know, like today a little bit while I was racing, I was kind of just thinking that, you know, I'm not in my top shape yet. I think that kind of affected my race a little, but you know, it is what it is. Learn from it. Move on. You know, it's October. December is where the big races happen.